first of all, I ain't no real, like, I'm really not a rapper. Like, I know on, I'm only doing this to just establish myself. Like I said, I ain't been to school since I was 14. You feel me? So, like, I'm trying to really, I want to become a citizen now that I've been to prison. I see how, you know, the white man treats you. Not literally the white man, but every man, you know what I'm saying? When... When I could put a badge on and I could tell you to shut the fuck up all day and I could get I get paid for that, I'ma overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is my job. You feel me? This is what I love. I love seeing prisoners and you know what I'm saying? That's that's if if you a guard, that's your motivation. Is to go to work, is to see this nigga in a cage. Mm. So with me seeing that, I knew automatically that it was definitely not for me, you feel me? And I, I can I hate having a motherfucker, especially like some young ass. Like, imagine an 18 year old white boy telling you to shut the fuck up. Right. I'm from the street. Like, I don't even. Ain't, you ain't finna see one white person on my block. You gonna see a Mexican or a nigga and a Chinese at the liquor store. That's the only nationalities in my neighborhood. So it's like a culture shock for me to hear a white boy tell me to shut the fuck up. I'm like, what? Um, any man, period. Like my daddy don't even tell me to shut the fuck up. Like I, I can, like that's hard for me to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, I ain't my dog. Nigga, don't hit nine, nigga. No bad. Where you at? Damn. Mom, what? Get that a bed. I got him. I got him. I got him. Come on, man. I bet he hit. Nigga, he hit the nine again. Damn. I bet he don't. I bet he don't. Let's go to the nine right there. Nah, you see that shit. Come on. Put the dollar down for the nine. There he is. He's from the nine. I bet he hit. I bet he hit for a dollar. I bet he hit for a dollar. What's the point? I bet he hit for a dollar. You got that dub. One, two, three, four. Nigga, that was
I got my nigga Jay Ivy. He he's so serious. He's so serious on the motherfucking poetry. It don't make sense. Welcome. I've been expecting you. And I know that you've been patiently waiting, but the time is finally here. After all the blood, sweat, and tears, the moment you've been patiently anticipating has finally arrived. And just in case you didn't know, only the best of the best have survived. It's Oklahoma versus USC. So feel free to move to the edge of your seat. It's hot in the honk, can't you feel the heat? They say it never rains in Southern Cal, but the Trojans took their swords and waved them in the air and stormed through the season. And for the same reason, the Sooners have their eyes locked on this Spot that sits on a mountaintop. Rankings no longer matter, so they both believe they can't be stopped. They both believe that they are the one. Liner uses Lionheart to hunt down the Heisman because he believes. The President Reggie Bush rushes to the office because he elected to believe. Across the line, the heaven gates open and Peterson charged out because he believes. And White also has the Heisman tucked under his belt because he too believes. True indeed, they're both powerhouses, but there's only one ring, only one crystal ball, and it's going to take more than magic to grab it. It's the big show, the FedEx Orange Bowl, and the orange is ripening. Because when it comes to fighting for your dreams, there's nothing subtle about it. If your heart tells you that you are champion, your mind can't doubt it. They started and ended one and two, cleared every hurdle. The season has come around full circle, because every beginning has an ending, every ending has an outcome, but only one will grab hold. It's OU versus USC, so fans, wave your hands. It's time for the FedEx Orange Bowl. The one, the only, the Grand Dance. 